One time, put it down, shawty, get up on the ground I don't know where you be, but I need you here with me Stress out on my mind heavily, yeah You're the only one Sex, sex, sex You say bones to the left, bones to the left Bend down, bend down Bones to the left, bones to the left Bend down, bend down If you're real bad, girl, cock off your body Clean, boom, boom, make bad man happy Sexy What's good, YouTube? So, as you can see in the title, this video will not be like yesterday. Well, be similar, a little similar to yesterday's video. Me showing you guys how I got TikTok famous. Well, this video, I'm going to be informing you guys on how to be a YouTuber. So, first things first, you obviously need to create a YouTube account. How do you do that? You create, create a Google account. You go ahead, you create a Google account. And once you create a Google account, you log in, download the YouTube app. Also download the YouTube Studio app because you are gonna need both the YouTube Studio and the YouTube app. So, once you've already done that, you go ahead and post your first video. Now I feel, personally, I feel like everyone's first video should be a video of them Either their intro and then next, them introducing themselves to their channel, correct? Now, promoting your YouTube channel, just copy your links from your videos, send them to your friends, let them send around to their friends and get your stuff around. Always post on all your social medias, screenshot your YouTube, let people check it out. Um, also, you'll need to be recording in a landscape mode so not all the time holding your phone in a landscape mode works because um not my dog is being very rude but not only does it not work but it also causes you to you won't you won't have proper stabilization of the phone so like how I can talk right now and do whatever I please, not worrying about my phone, is because I have a tripod. So I'd recommend everyone to buy a tripod. They are not that expensive. They are probably fifteen dollars the most. So for more advanced users, more advanced users obviously would have the things like um, a ring light. You need good lighting. Me, I use my lamp. You see how good this lighting is? Just take the head off your lamp. I use my phone, I have an iPhone 10, and then I bought a tripod. So you need good lighting, you need um, a tripod, and then when you get up there, you can buy a Canon GSX or G7X cameras. They are the cameras that YouTubers use. And um, also, one more thing, you may need a MacBook, but not right now. But just for starting out, that's all you need. And then I had a car, a car um, rest for the phone, but this dog bite it up. So I also recommend that for when vlogging in the car. Um, so all you need basically is a good phone, by the way. You're gonna need an iPhone at least if you wanna start vlogging and you don't have a camera. You're gonna need an iPhone because otherwise the quality is gonna be terrible. Then iMovie. iMovie is an app where you can edit your videos, put all the clips together, and then once you're done, save it. Save it to the highest quality. Always try to save it to the highest quality um, so that your video doesn't be smudgy. And then you can also go ahead and change your settings on your iPhone and change your camera's regular camera to, I think I have mine such HD 720, but if you can, you can put it to 4K. That'll have your videos looking so clean. And then um, there's an next app that I use for my clickbait, which is the thumbnails. So the app that I use for the thumbnails is called Superimpose. So Superimpose allows you to put a background picture, right? Put a background picture and then you can put layers and cut it out however you want like whatever you gotta cut out so i use superimpose for that and in order to add my thumbnail i go to youtube studio 
once the video is already uploaded even if it's not fully uploaded click on videos and you're gonna press on it on the actual video press edit the video and it'll say change thumbnail so once you click on that it goes to your camera roll you add the picture that you did for your thumbnail um another app i use is oh uh, i can't really remember the name of my head but it allows you to count your subscribers online it does a live subscriber count it shows you how many how much money you could be making any youtuber you can look up and find out how much money they're making they're ranking on youtube what are, what are their what are their most popular videos what are they popular for um so that's a great app as well and also so a friend of mine asked me yesterday i think so I live in the Bahamas. So in order for you to get paid from YouTube, if you live in the Bahamas, you'd love to set your YouTube channel to the United States. So just go to your settings. You gotta do it on the laptop. Go to your settings and go ahead and change it from the Bahamas to the US. It's that simple. Now about monetization. So in order to get paid from YouTube, you are going to need 1,000 subscribers, you're going to need at least 1,000 views and 4,000 watch hours. Watch hours are the hardest to get. Stop it. Watch hours are the hardest to get. And um, in order to see how far you are with your monetization, all you gotta do, go on YouTube on your computer. It says create a studio. You press that. On your left hand side you can scroll down and go to monetization and you you basically have the enable monetization on your dashboard so that it says eligible to even get paid from YouTube so I'm gonna show you guys my account because you can actually look me up on the app to see how far I am um, so the only thing I'm actually waiting on right now is 4,000 watch hours Currently, I probably have 1,700, almost 800 um, watch hours. So I'm not too, too far for me just starting YouTube in January. Um, watch hours. So I have 100,000 watch minutes. Now, watch hours are basically calculated by how many people, how long do people watch your videos for? So if you have a 12 minute video, and say someone watches six minutes of the 12 minute video that goes towards your watch time okay that's basically how it works so once you already got all of that stuff the, the second step to even getting paid is you have to make an adsense account and another account so that you can get paid for you get paid for views by the way you get paid for your views and you get paid for your um yeah basically you get paid for your views and your ads so now what you want to do is not use any songs that don't belong to you on your page and you're not gonna curse on your page either um, there are two things that you have to avoid doing on your page once you have been cleared for monetization you will need a US address to send your pin to once you send your pin then you'll be able to be get to get paid from your videos. Um, so like I was saying, you get paid for views and you get paid for ads. I think ads pay the most, I'm not too sure. But like, like I said, do not curse on your videos. If you're gonna curse, then bloop it out. And also, if you're gonna use someone's song or something, but I do not own copyrights and YouTube also does not pay you when you use someone else's content on your page. So please try to avoid doing that as well. Um, so I've covered all the bases basically. Um, so a lot of people might try to figure out, figure me out. Two weeks ago, I had a thousand subscribers. Today, I am at 1,590 subscribers. How I accumulate all these subscribers? Well, every time I've been posting videos every day since the quarantine and Every time I post a new video, I upload it on all my social media 
account like um, Instagram, TikTok, WhatsApp, Facebook. And I also put my links everywhere. I let my friends share them. And I also allow my fans to share it and I shout them out. So you basically have to promote yourself if you want to get it up there. And once your, once your um, subscribers go up, your watch time goes up really quickly because about two weeks ago i'm pretty sure my watch time was at 800 and watch time is really hard to get um so if you check out my account on the online subscribe account you will see that i have 1595 subscribers and currently through my stance i can make up the 2.4k a year however i am not monetized as yet like i said i'm waiting on my watch hours um, it'll also tell you that I have about 50 something thousand views. So another thing, clickbait. Once you use clickbait and someone presses that video, even if they don't watch it, that's a view. That's money that you're going to get from that video. So clickbait just means basically me putting a topic saying, I almost died, question mark, and I didn't really die. It's just so people could think, oh, what happened? You know? Um, another thing about YouTube, well, honestly, you got to be consistent. Like I said, since the lockdown, I've been posting every day. When you're not consistent, your watch time drops. Everything on your YouTube basically declines. But if you post every day, everything just goes up every day because you're adding on to your account every day but if you don't post every day or try to post every week then you're not putting yourself in a good position so if any of my friends want to join youtube i always encourage them because number one youtube is not for everyone and i did not know everything when i started youtube make sure you have your intro Make sure you put interesting stuff on your channel. Don't make your videos too long. Don't only do one thing on your channel. Be very versatile on your channel. Um, but one thing I always tell my friends, if you want to join YouTube, go ahead. I'm going to support you. But YouTube is not for everyone. Why I say that? Not a lot of people can keep up with the YouTube thing. Not a lot of people willing to share their life with the world. You know what I mean? So... That's my advice to y'all who want to join YouTube. And if you want to try it out, try it out. You know how many kids, listen, if you are a kid and you're watching this, you know how many kids making money off YouTube just by playing with toys, playing with slime, all of that stuff. Stuff like that y'all could do. Y'all can make so much money. And this, and I, I send in this message mainly to the people from my country, from the Bahamas. Listen, listen to me good. We have so much potential, but we are lazy. Don't be lazy. Pick up a camera, start recording. I wanna see many more Bahamians start doing YouTube. I wanna see many more Bahamians start opening their own little businesses. I wanna see many more Bahamians on a global stage, okay? That's how I feel. I like to see other people winning too. So that's my advice to y'all. That's basically all you need to know about YouTube from my knowledge of YouTube and um, just play it safe. Y'all know what it is. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Comment below some video ideas for me. And also, I got a new song that I dropped with my cousin Kay. It's called Slowly Falling. I'm gonna drop the, the um, link to the YouTube video in the description and i'm gonna also put it at the end of this video on the actual youtube video there is a link to the audio mac and the soundcloud so that you can have it downloaded to your phone um so yeah y'all go check it out i'm gonna be back with more bangers more interesting videos and i got something for y'all just keep <laughs> Chase my dreams, tryna give you all my love My heart is broken, 